about San Juan High School. We about San Juan High School. Whatever. Is there anything you want to tell the youth who look up to you, especially your son? For the youth first. Go sit in that box. Go sit in that. Go sit in that. Uh, in that bathroom for just 20 minutes by yourself and just think, get in your thoughts. Or take a long drive and get in your thoughts and think about everything that you love and everything that you love doing. And how fast that shit could just get taken away from you. My baby, feel me? That's the only thing that is on my mind going into this bid for real. They gave me 28, 28 years, eight months. I've been home almost two years now doing everything I can for the community, my people, shit, everybody else really before myself, you feel me? And in all actuality, I could have been living my life. I could have been doing everything that I wanted to do, traveling everywhere I wanted to go without coming back. But I decided to be here, you feel me, to help, to coach kids, to, to do shit with my son out here. And it's fucking with me now, cause niggas, you feel me? I'm gone for a minute. You gotta think, every action got a reaction. So think before you act. What would you tell your 18 year old self? <sighs> Shit, it ain't worth it. Look at life. Leave Sacramento for a week. How has having a kid changed you? It changed my perspective on how I gotta move and how I gotta act in front of my child. So by me doing that, you feel me, it, it, it better me as a man. Cause I mean, at the end of the day, they, the kids, they soak up everything, you feel me? So I don't want him out here bad as a motherfucker or doing all this hella extra other shit, you feel me? So I can't show him that and I can't be in his face doing all this other shit. Him changing me though as a, as a, as a person, it was the love, it was the newfound love that, you feel me, I don't feel as if that I received all the time or, or that I had gained, that I had got for him, you feel me? Once I got that love for him, it was like I have something to live for. I have something to to move about, you feel me? I have some reason, nigga, to smile each and every day, no matter what I'm up against, you feel me? By that happening, it, 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 keep, me, it keep me straight, it keep me narrow. How did sports affect your life? It helped me a lot. It helped me because a lot of people that were in my life throughout the sports, where my dad wasn't, they were, you feel me? And my dad was there all throughout my life. But these men were role models to me, you feel me? And these men helped shape me into who I am today and, and, and the way that I move and the way I carry myself. It was more than just the sport itself. It was more than just me playing football or basketball or the love for it and shit like that. It was everybody that seen the struggles that my mom was going through at home, you feel me, and shit, the shit I was going through and, and, and embraced me, you feel me, and helped me, and that's what shit, that's what make me do what I do now with, with, with the youth and with the kids that I truly love, you feel me? Um, how do they expect us to stop the cycle when they keep taking fathers out of, out of their son's lives? I don't understand it. Um, it's gonna be hard. I mean, shit, until they fully, until they fully realize it, until they fully see, and, and look at the stats for what it is, it ain't, it ain't never gonna change, honestly. I 1,000% I have full faith in what I was doing, not just for myself, you feel me, but for everybody that is willing to come out here and nigga, switch it up, you feel me? Find a new avenue or find a new route and change these young ones, you feel me? I felt like it was gonna work. I felt like what I was doing, you feel me? It was, it was there. By them ripping it from me, you feel me? It ripped it from each and every one of the ones that was really looking up to me and that was really eyes open about taking a new route and shit like that. But now it's like, they texting me and talking to me and it's like, but what the, what the fuck are we trying to do good for and change for and, and all this other shit with that shit. Look at what they doing to you, you feel me? You doing everything in your earth. You're doing great, okay, you feel me? But this is what they still trying to do and it's like discouraging. So, I mean, uh, until they figure out a new way, I'll be reading up and you feel me trying to figure out something that we could do from from in there to out here. And I'm gonna continue to reach out to, to the ones that I got, you feel me? And if there's a few more that wanna reach out and, and get a little words of wisdom or some guidance, you feel me? 
it can come about. I'm all for it. You know, I don't just do it for nothing else, you feel me, other than what I love and the, the smile to put on my face for helping the next. While being in there, will you still continue to give back to your community and do everything you can to try to change people's narrative, change the narrative and change people's perspective on on the, on life and, you know, and your your obstacles that you've come across? For sure. It's not even just a, a, my community, you feel me? It's going to be anybody that I come across, whoever I come across. If I feel as if my outlook can better a path for them, I'm going to enlighten them on it, you feel me? but it's on them to, to take it, it's on them to listen. It's a lot of young ones, it's a lot of niggas my age, or you feel me, that just hard headed down. They don't understand life, they don't understand the value of anything. <laughs> so, whoever willing to listen, whoever willing to take it on, then yeah, they gonna get it. And it's just personal relationships though, you feel me? That's all it is, and so it's a reaching out. Reach out. What dramatic experiences in life led you to where you are now? JJ dying on my third month and how I was weeping in that cell and I just felt empty, you feel me? But I I held that in. I was anger that I had nigga, for two years. And it just it, it was unreleased. So I mean shit like that is it, it if it bottles up, you gotta figure out a way to release it release it some way. You can figure out something that you happy doing. Mine was driving, you feel me? I drive, I get on that road, nigga, and I'm just, I'm free. Nigga, everything is clear. Nigga, I, I won't even listen to no music, but I'm in my head, I'm in my thoughts, and it's clear in my head, you feel me? And how important is like a, you know, like something to release all your, all your negative energy and find that, uh, you know, that outlet to, to really, how important is that? Shit, extremely important. If not, you're gonna crash out. If, if you ain't got no type of, you gotta have somebody that you can talk to. You gotta have somebody that you can, that, that'll listen to you and, and, and not even have no type of feedback for you, feel me? It's just all ears and it releases everything up off you. Shit, right now it's releasing a lot of shit up off me because I've been building it up. Nigga, these last two weeks I've been fucked up thinking about my son. What would you say to someone who grew up in the same type of environment as you, um, possibly thinking about, you know, hanging out with the wrong crowd or, you know, um, what, what would you say to someone that, you know, is right in that age gap to where, you know, they can either go one route or go, you know, seven yeah, route? Yeah, can't live no double life, you feel me? You don't, don't be in sports thinking that you could be in these streets. Don't be in the streets that you thinking that you could be in, these, in sports. It don't work like that. Stick to one thing and, and do a full throttle, whatever it is, you feel me? I mean, stay in school though. The young ones, stay in school. I mean, nigga, every, as I said, when I spoke to the to the football team, everybody loved bitching, bro. All the bitches in school, find you a route. Find you an avenue to make some money. Go sell some candy, go do something. But every day you gotta be, do something better. Make yourself better than the previous one, you feel me? Keep going. Don't give up. Just keep going. What's one trait that you kind of were instilled as a kid that, you, you know, an OG or someone that you know instilled in you as a kid that you now instill into your son and in his life and when he gets older? And you, know, you always be a man about everything. And every time you shake my hand, shake my hand with your right hand. You got to be a man. Everything that you say that you're going to do, by any means, try your best to make it happen. What's your honest emotion that you can, you know, tell to people that are in a similar situation as you, or could get in the future be in a similar situation as you? It's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a new step for me. You feel me? I mean, shit, I'd have been a juvenile hall my whole last bit, which was, you feel me, a cakewalk. I'd have been to the county my whole last bit, which was a cakewalk. You feel me? Prison is something different. Nigga. It's, it's strategic. You feel me? You gotta move a certain type of way. Ain't nothing to be scared about, you feel me? A man is a man, nigga, you stand on your own two feet here regardless of anything. But what I am scared about though, nigga, as I continue to say, is them nights when I'm gonna be, you feel me, just in my thoughts, nigga, thinking, you feel me, about my my baby. But uh nah, ain't no fear. Any big shout outs or any, you know, anything like that, any final thoughts? I appreciate every single person throughout this journey of me being home. 
that done took on some advice from me, that done took on some knowledge just from afar, and did something with it, you feel me? That mean I did my part, that mean I did what I was meant to do, you feel me? I wanna thank all my brothers, I wanna thank everybody that helped me with my process of coming home and giving me the opportunity to have my son and giving me the opportunity to live a little bit more, you feel me? Before this occurred. A big, big, big one to Shaq, Shaq Thompson. I appreciate it, I appreciate it a lot. And you could pass her and go right in that alleyway. We could just park right in that alley. So you want to come here, buddy? You about to get it. Oh. <laughs> you about to get it. Oh, you about to get it. Let me see. <laughs> Grandpa originated that. Come on. Did I get kiss kiss? Yeah. Another kiss kiss. One more. Hurry up. Good kiss kiss. Oh. Are you one? Let me see. Oh. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Yeah.